So I made a recent video that started an experiment where I went out into a hemlock forest and I found some feeding sign of a porcupine and uh, the experiment was to look at the aging of that porcupine feeding sign. If you haven't seen that video, um, I would highly recommend going back and watching that before you watch this video because this is going to be an update video. So I'll see if I can figure out how to put a uh, a link in the video here and if I if I can't do that I'll put it in the description but basically I've been going back and I've been checking on the aging experiment for a few weeks now and I've been recording some updates and that's what we're going to look at in this video so where we left off was with a green hemlock branch sitting at the base of a poplar tree and um, you know just really locating one example of a hemlock branch and I've been going back and checking on it um, you know on a weekly basis just to kind of see how it's going and the idea is that if I can figure out what um, what the aging process is of those branches then I can help to to sort of look back and figure out when the porcupines were actually here and I think I think what you'll see in the updates is that there is a very clear uh, seasonal trend happening that we can probably use so I'm basically just in this video gonna it's gonna be pretty quick I'm gonna share those updates and we'll talk about the next steps in the porcupine hemlock tracking experiment it's been a few weeks and as you can see it is still mostly green but the green has changed to more of a lighter color um, one of the interesting things that I noticed here is I was kind of expecting the hemlock needles to turn brown um, before they would fall off. But if you look at these, I'll actually take a different one that's right nearby um, just because I don't want to disturb the experiment. Um, these needles, um, they're pretty much falling off like it's just, they're just flaking off really easily. Um, and they're, they're staying green all the way through till they fall off. As I look around the forest, pretty much all the hemlock branches that I find are in this state. I'll have to put up, um, I'll have to check what the actual time difference was um, between when I was last here. We had a little bit of a uh, rainy period and then we had uh, quite a warm dry period for this time of year. So it was a real mixture. And we're just coming out of the warm, dry period now. It's going to rain tonight, and uh, which will be good. One thing I'll note is that as I look around the forest, um, it doesn't seem like there's any new hemlock branches down. So that kind of leads me to think that this is potentially a seasonal thing, um, or that the you know just the porcupine hasn't been around recently. Um, but pretty much all the hemlock branches in the forest are at this same are at this same stage of um, deterioration, and which would lead me to think that they were all made around the same time. However, it's also possible that they were being preserved by the winter, and um, just the cold temperatures meant that some of these could have been made in you know, December, and some of them could have been made in February, and uh, they might age the same way just because of the, the cold. So the next step will be to uh, wait a little bit more, and uh, really I just need to keep coming back to the same spot and checking. Uh, I need to identify when new hemlock branches start being uh, dropped here, and uh, that'll give us something else to look at. May 21st, and the green hemlock needles are now completely brown, or actually they've completely fallen off. If you look underneath, they're still green, they've just fallen off the branch. And as I look around the forest, I'd say most of the hemlock branches that were here before have really done the same and it doesn't look like there's been any refreshing of hemlock branches meaning 
I don't think the porcupines have been in here in the last little while. So, this is very cool because it, it tells us that that feeding sign is probably seasonal. I'm guessing linked to, you know, fall, winter, maybe very early spring at the latest. But my next step will be to continue visiting here uh, in all seasons and try to catch when they start feeding here again. And uh, then we can start to use that feeding sign to know and actually track where the porcupines are. So stay tuned and we will see what we discover.